Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do syncing and kind of organization for uh, for assistant editing. Um, first of all, I'm going to be doing two different projects. There's going to be the project that the, the editor is going to be working out of, and there's going to be the project that the assistant editor is working out of uh, to do the syncing. Uh, so what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to create the project for the, the editor. I'm going to call that What's Up Edit Project. This is just like a demonstration, a lighting demonstration. but uh, but it has a couple scenes, so same same deal here. So I'm going to create that project, and I'm also going to create um, the syncing project. I'm going to call this "What's Up Sync Project." This is where all the syncing is going to take place. Um, after that's created here, uh, what I want you to realize or, or see here is within this folder. Um, within the What's Up Project folder, we've got, uh, if you're doing a, a short film or a feature film, uh, you're going to be organizing uh, your footage. And this is just kind of a basic organization where we have all the day one footage and audio. Uh, and each card is going to have its own unique name. Um, under day two, we've got card two, but it's under day two, so it's the second card. Each reel for the video and audio are going to have its own number numbering system here. So, so card one, card two, even if you shoot on day three, it's going to be, uh, if you use three, if you say you use card two and three on day two, then as you move on to day three, you're going to have card four starting on uh, day four. If you have different cameras as well, besides just one camera, there's going to be a different organization with that as well, but we're sticking with the basics here. Um, so I'm going to go inside of uh, Premiere, and we're going to import uh, our footage. Okay. Uh, before I import some footage here, let, let me just show you. I've got these two projects here. This is going to basically be the editor's project, and this is going to be the assistant editor's project. Uh, it might be one and the same person, but it helps to keep things organized where you have one just for syncing and one for editing, and you're going to be able to import these sync projects, and I'll show you how. Uh, right now, I'm going to bring in my uh, day one footage and audio. I'm going to do, do day one, first of all. I'm going to drag and drop that in. So I have my audio for uh, and video for day one here. Uh, I'm going to grab all my footage here. Option, double click on my folder. I uh, grab the first clip. Grab all the uh, grab all the footage inside here, and grab the very top one. They're in in named order here. I grab that the top one and drag and drop it to a sequence. And uh, this works if if your sequence has all the same. If your uh, all your footage is all the same settings. If you have slow motion or something else, you might have to do uh, do some configuring. Um, so I've got all the footage on my timeline uh, from card one here. Uh, let me grab my timeline, drag it out of my folder, and we're going to call this uh, day one syncing. Um, okay, within the timeline here, I'm going to hit shift, my plus key, to, to zoom everything up. And I've got my audio down here and my video up here uh, of all my clips that were shot for that day. Uh, this is scene number two, and I, if you have several scenes in the same day, that's fine. You're going to be organizing these into scene folders. Uh, but right now, I'm going to grab my. I'm going to go under my my audio here. I'm going to double click on my first clip. I'm going to play through this, and I'm going to look at uh, the scene if this was shot properly. This doesn't have the roll numbers on it, which it should, but this was just more of a kind of a quick demonstration, a lighting demonstration for a class instead of a movie. Uh, so I'm going to listen to this audio here and listen to see if this is the right audio. Right now this is scene two, take one. And it says scene two, take one on the audio. So that audio does belong to this video. Um, now, first of all, when you start doing, before you start editing your audio here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, uh, if, if you're shooting in mono, you're going to make these mono files. Uh, this is a stereo file that came in. It's actually two mono files, one that's left, one that's right. Uh, so one thing that I'm going to do here to all my audio is I'm going to make sure it's all the same. I'm going to highlight all my audio, right click on it. You might not need to do this if they're all properly recorded as mono tracks or stereo tracks. Uh, I like to edit in, in mono. Um, so this can be mixed later on. So these are mono channels. I'm going to right click on all of these, go to modify audio channels. Um, here under audio channels, I'm going to change my channel format to mono. And it's going to say, which one of those tracks do you want to use as a mono track? Your left track or your right track? These, in this instance, is the, is the, uh, these are all the same. Uh, so I'm, I can just say left or right, and it's not going to make a difference. If you have one, sometimes the audio person will record a stereo track and record one track louder than the other. Um, in this instance, uh, they're, they're both the same. It's a duplicate mono track that made a stereo track. So I'm just going to choose the left 
and hit OK. Number of audio tracks, one is all I need. And now when I double click on this, you'll notice it's turned this into a mono file just using the left track and setting that left track, uh, to, uh, setting that uh, this to now, this it singled out that left track and setting it both to left and right. As I play here, you'll notice it's playing uh, the audio. It's, it's, it's just a single mono track now. All right, now that these are all configured, we're going to start syncing. Um, Premiere does have an auto syncing option. I don't really like to use it because, say, the camera is uh, or the subject is 50 feet away from the camera. Uh, if you're using those audio waveforms here to sync up and match with these audio waveforms, uh, the audio is going to be off a little bit. It takes a little while for that audio to reach the camera. There's a slight delay. Um, and a lot of audio people will not like that because uh, is that because of that delay the audio won't truly be in sync. So I don't like the auto sync feature. Um, and I'm, I do it the old old fashioned way which is just manually syncing. Um, okay, I'm going to hit shift 3, go to my timeline. I'm going to set up my timeline for syncing audio here. Right now, I, I, I'm going to leave my DSLR audio. This is just the in-camera audio off the DSLR. It's crappy audio, not very good. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be using the audio that's taken from a boom mic here, which is much better. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this alone right now, but I'm going to uh, turn off my audio track 1, so it's not editing to this, and I'm going to assign which um, which track I'm editing my audio to. You grab this audio here, I'm going to assign audio track 2, just um, disengaging this track so it doesn't leave any gaps or anything in here, but leaving uh, track 2 activated, and I'm assigning track 2 to um, to send this audio track down to here, so it won't overwrite this audio. Uh, just a little kind of picky thing that I do, but uh, not necessary. You, you can have it overwrite this track if you wish. Uh, but now I'm going to find that spot, that visual spot where the clap happens here. I'm going to arrow down till you see that thing right there meet. That's where the sync marker is going to be. Um, I'm going to put an endpoint on my timeline. I'm just going to hit I. And now I'm going to go up to my audio, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a sync marker on my audio. You can see a little clap mark right there, but they say, two, scene 2, take 1. I'm going to arrow to the left till I see that clap right there. You can see my audio jump up here, indicating that that is right where that clap happens. I'm going to put an endpoint there as well, I. So I've got an endpoint here, endpoint here. Now all you have to do is do an overwrite. You hit period on the keyboard, and it drops your audio down inside. Uh, let's take a look at this. And now the audio has been, this is the good audio, this is the in-camera audio, has been synced up to match. You can see these little waveforms that are kind of similar waveforms here. Um, and there we go. That one is synced up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, I'm going to jump to the end, arrow down. I'm going to grab my audio and just drag it over so it matches the same length as the video. This is the first step. We're going to show you the, uh, the next step here in, in a moment. But let's do a couple more here. Bring up uh, my next track. Let's play through it. Scene 2, take 2, marker. Arrow over to the right. There's the clap. In point. Shift 3 to go to my timeline. Play. I'm going to zoom up here. I'm going to skim through this, find where that marker is. I can see the marker right there, but look at the visual up here. And you can hear it really nice and loud on the camera. Boom, right there. In point. And now period to drop that down under the timeline. So I'm going to drag this back there so it matches the length of the video. So, so far what I've got is one clip matched up, two clips matched up, and I'm going to go through and do the same for all the rest of these clips here. I'm going to um, um, stop for a minute and I will come back when all this is done. And I'm going to actually do this to a couple different scenes here. So. Okay, I've done all the syncing for day one. Um, and you see these clips in here, the audio kind of mismatches the, audio, the video. What you can do now is I'm going to go to the beginning. If you want to back time this so you get the scene number, you can. If not, the visual is there. A lot of assistant editors or a lot of editors won't mind as long as the visual is there, <laughs> which it is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to get rid of all of my in-camera audio. I don't need this stuff. I'm going to drag, option, drag holding that option and dragging a marquee over this. I hit my slash key to show my entire timeline. And now I'm going to option drag this across the audio here. Highlight it all and hit delete. 
I'm going to drag my marquee across this audio and do option arrow up. It'll move it up a timeline here. I'm going to activate this track again. Um, there we go. All right, now I'm going to start skipping through this and performing cuts. I want the audio and video the same size, uh, the same length. So I'm going to arrow down. It'll jump to this edit. I'm going to cut Apple K. We'll cut. I'm going to highlight this and hold down option and hit the big delete key. It'll do a ripple delete. So basically, I'm going to go through this whole thing and get everything the same length. So here is one complete clip right there that's been synced. I'm going to arrow down, Apple K to cut, highlight that, option delete, arrow down, arrow down again, get rid of this excess. So, so far, now I have one, two, three clips that are cut to the same size same length. Cut, option delete, and you're going to do this through the whole timeline, getting all the clips uh, the same length. Apple K to cut, option delete, to get these all the same length. Okay, once these are all the same length, you'll have one clip, two clips, three clips, four clips, all these clips that are uh, the same length with the audio matching the video. And one more thing here that we need to do to get this to uh, deliver to the editor <coughs> is I'm going to go to the first, very, very first of the clip here. Um, I'm going to start merging these. One way of doing that is highlighting both the audio and video you want to join together. And you're going to right click and go up to Merge Clips. Just click on that. And now you can type in the name of the clip. This is Scene 2, Take 1. Uh, and just the, just in case there's another take, what I'm going another like a take two or take three of the same scene number, I'm going to highlight this right here, and I'm going to do Command C to copy. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the zero there. We're going to do uh, Command A, Command C to copy this name. Now I'm going to hit OK, and this clip just got merged over here. You double click on that, and you have the synced clip here together, uh, the audio and video synced. Uh, pulled together the separate audio to the the the, the good audio linked with the new new video. Uh, so you're going to do this to all these clips here. Um, there's a shortcut that I like uh, to do. They don't have a shortcut program for merge. So what I'm going to do, uh, I like uh, uh, one that's clear, a, a keyboard shortcut that works for me is Apple Option G or Control Option G if you're on a PC. Control Alt uh, G on a PC. I'm going to go into Premiere, go to Keyboard Shortcuts. All right, type in merge. It'll bring up the merge clips function here. You're going to click here, uh, highlight the merge clips. I'm going to go over here in the shortcut uh, and click inside of this. And that will start, once you click on this area over in shortcut, it's going to ask you, what do you want your shortcut to be? I'm going to do command option G. Hold on, command option G, and it leaves that in there. And now that is my new shortcut uh, for merge clips. I just had to kind of manually assign that. I'm going to hit OK and that has been saved. So now I can use that. I'm going to highlight these two clips. This is scene two, take two. I'm going to hold down Apple, option, G, and it, this now it does the merge clips function. I'm going to do command V and paste my name in there. Uh, I'm going to arrow back one and change this to take two. Command A, command C, hit OK. There's my merge clips. And I'm going to do that for each one of these clips here. Highlight this one one more time. Command option G, command V to paste. This is two alpha take one, and I'm going to copy that name, Command A, Command C, and notice I'm just uh, putting the name that I see over here. Hit OK, and same thing, repeat until you have all these organized and, um, and put over in this area here. Okay, I'm going to do all that, then I'm going to come back. I'm also going to do day two, so I'll have two different sequences in here with day one and day two, uh, all synced and all merged, and then we'll come back and show you the last part of the organization here. So, Okay, I lied a little bit. I did not sync day two yet, because I want to do that as a separate, as if I did the syncing in two different days, I want to show how to organize that from a, uh, an assistant editor to an editor's perspective here. But right now I've got all of my uh, scene two, uh, or my day one footage uh, synced together. And uh, if, if I had two scenes within the same day, that'd be fine. I'd rename these and I'd have a couple different scenes in here. Right now, I just have this one scene. I'm going to tilde over this window here. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to, uh, actually, I'm going to grab all my scene two footage and I'm going to, all my merged footage, and I'm going to drag and drop it to the new folder here and create a new folder for it. Now I'm going to call this scene 
2. That is scene 2 uh, synced, actually. We can call that synced. Okay, so now that I've got scene 2 synced here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my progress here. I'm going to hit Command S and save. I'm going to make this a project um, all organized for the editor here. Uh, so what I can do is I can basically, um, I'm going to create a sequence for the editor here. I'm going to drag this down and drop it, drag, drag one of the clips down, drop it into a uh, sequence, and I'm going to rename this scene, oops, I'm, and I'm going to rename this scene to edit. And uh, now I'm just going to go to that clip. Now that the settings are set up in here, I'm just going to delete the clip, and I have a blank sequence within that scene 2 folder ready for the editor. Um, so now I can save this. I'm going to uh, go, I'm going to grab my synced folder here. Um, and now I can basically delete all this here, everything else. Okay, next step. Uh, before I save this as a project file for the for the editor, I'm going to clean this up a bit. Uh, I've got my sync project saved. I'm going to hit Command S and save it just to make sure all my changes are saved. I'm going to highlight all this these items here uh, and just leave synced scene two synced all the scenes that I've synced and save that for the editor. I'm going to delete and save this as a new project. Do file save as, and I'm going to call this day one sync. So there's a third project I just saved. Now, what the editor is going to do um, is I'm going to open this up from the editor's project. I'm going to go to open project, and we're going to open up the edit project. This gets a little confusing. Here's the editor's project. Open up. Here's the what's up edit project. Uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to import. Um, now, if this is synced on a server, on a hard drive, uh, all that footage is there, the editor should just be able to open up that project. Just go to import media to start here. Double click in here to import. And I'm going to go to that. Here is that project file. This is the only thing the assistant editor has to send to the editor now is this day one sync project. Uh, as the editor, I'm going to select that day one sync project, hit import. And it's going to ask you import entire project or import sequences. You're just going to say entire project. Import the entire project. And there is <coughs> the scene two folder with the uh, the with the sequence in it and all the merged clips ready to go and now I can open up my my uh, project file and start editing scene two. Um, so now I'm going to I'm going to go back to my sync project. I'm going to save this as the editor and I'm going to go back to assistant editing here. I'm going to go to uh, back to my sync project. Open recent and get my sync project, my general sync project file. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sync day two footage. I'm going to grab my day two footage, drag this in, import my day two footage and audio, and I'm going to go through the same process with scene two. I'm going to sync all this footage here. I'm going to grab uh, my footage, drag it to a sequence, go through the exact same progress uh, process as we did before, call this day two syncing. And I'm going to go through and do the same process. Then I will come back after day two has been synced. OK, I've gone through the whole uh, process of uh, day two syncing. I've got all my sync sequences here, day one and day two. I've got uh, just scene five was shot that day uh, on day two. So I'm going to highlight all these clips, drag them to a new bin, and call these uh, call this. And if you have more than one scene per day, you'll just organize those into their own uh, respective folders. So scene five. And I'm going to do the same thing. Grab a scene five project fi or, or video, merge video. Drag it onto a new sequence. Create a new sequence. And call this scene five edit. There we go. So I've got that folder already. I'm going to hit command, command S, save the whole sync project folder. And now I can, I'm just sending over the, um, the day two stuff, which is just scene five. So I'm going to highlight everything else. And actually, I'm going to call that day five synced. There we go. Uh, so I've got day five synced, uh, or, or day two synced, which is just scene five. So I can highlight everything else that's not from, that's not from day two. Delete it. Delete it. So I just have this five sync folder. Uh, I'm not gonna, and then I'm going to go do file save as. Save it as a different project file. Be careful not to overwrite your original project file. Uh, and we're going to call this day two sync. 
So now that it's saved as its own project file, days two synced. That is the project file I deliver to the editor. So now as the editor, I'm going to open up my What's Up Edit project. It gets, gets kind of confusing. Once you get used to this, you see why it works this way. And so far, what I've done is I've brought just day one in, and I've done the and pretend I've done the editing for it. Now I'm going to import that project file that the assistant editor just gave me, which is uh, day two sync. So I'm going to bring in uh, my day two sync files, and it's going to ask. Do I want to import the entire project? Yes. And there is my day, my scene 5 synced, and I can just keep adding all my scenes to my movie and edit these scenes individually and edit my movie. And that is basically how you do the sync. That is how you do the organization if you have an editor and an assistant editor and keeping it all organized. You can just, like I said, you can just hand over this little teeny project file here. The editor has all the media. Then all you have to do, and you can even email this. You can do it at home and then email these project files here. These project files are teeny. Notice day two sync is seven is 76 kilobytes, which is teeny. Uh, day one, 90, 90 kilobytes. Uh, these are teeny, teeny files you email, email, and then the editor can import as long as they have the footage. They can relink the footage, and, um, and uh, you're in business. There you go.